Hey, what's up? Good. Hey. Yeah, I mean, you know, we didn't play uh, well, so, you know, that never sits well with you. So you try to learn, you know, from your failures and, you know, how you prepare and things of that nature. So, yeah, you're a competitor, so stuff like that matters to you. Coach, um, defense seems to really be peaking right now, um, had maybe their best performance uh, against Wake Forest. It, Bye week, does that kind of disrupt the momentum at all, or is it always good to have a, have a rest? Check back next Monday. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know. We had a good week of practice. We jumped right back in and tried to get after it, you know, starting on Monday. So um, we had a really good week of practice. And um, so I don't know. I think if you have an extended, you know, a month layoff, that could potentially make you a little rusty. But you know, shape right now. Looking back at that game last year, was it kind of a catalyst in the turn of things for It may have been. I mean, uh, I think, uh, you know, pride was wounded. And um, again, we had good leadership respond to the right way. And um, a little more focus afterwards. Again, I think human nature is when you're you feel like you're playing well is to again take one hand off the wheel and uh, bad things you know can happen so uh, um, I think it righted the ship not you know in that particular week we didn't again we didn't play well but uh, you know that was uh, humbling for that group and uh, again have a, a group of guys that you know care a lot about how they perform and you didn't have to say a whole lot. What have you seen from Belinsky on film? I guess some of his strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, I mean, uh, strength-wise, you know, to have the kind of success he's having as a freshman is uh, is not the norm, and um, uh, just throws a throws a great ball. Uh, uh, very confident in his arm. Um, you know, very live. Can throw from one sideline. You know, one hash to the out route. Come back. Go ball, uh, throws a great deep ball, and uh, plays with great toughness and uh, a lot of energy, and um, just a very confident player. Coach Dean said going into the season, he thought this could be the best back seven that he's ever coached. Um, sure enough, you all had the number one pass defense last week. Is, is that is that sort of your your outlook on the on the back seven going into the season? I mean. I always just reserve judgment. I, you know, we really felt obviously that was where our experience was, and we would have a chance to have a you know a good cohesive unit. But they still had to go out and do it. You know, and we still had a couple of linebackers that that tie into that coverage as well, and uh, that hadn't started a college game yet. So, uh, and then DK, you know, so there's three guys in the back seven that were starting their first college games this fall. So. Still a lot of unknowns, but um, you know you felt good based on what you saw in the spring and in fall camp. But you got to go out and do it, and then you got to do it over a long period of time to really have you know enough data to kind of say, hey, here kind of here's where we're at comparatively speaking. But uh, you know there was the most experience there, more than you know had never had a guy start a, a college game up front. So at least we had four guys in the back seven. With Feaster, what kind of a running back is? Yeah, he's big and powerful. Uh, he's got really good top end speed. Uh, catches the ball really well. Uh, very smart, experienced, savvy. 
uh, tough, you know, brings a lot to the table. Assuming Brian Edwards is going to play, how much of a challenge will he be for your secondary? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a terrific player. He's really um, uh, saved his, be his best football for last and um, is, uh, plays with a great deal of um, passion and toughness. Uh, very skilled, long, terrific ball skills. Um, really gets vertical after he catches the football. Very strong uh, through the end of the play. So he makes a lot of tough competitive plays. And then, uh, you know, he's outstanding, you know, after he catches the ball, which, again, he's a terrific returner as well. Uh, they use him on the jet sweeps. He runs through a lot of trash. So uh, just, a, you know, a, a fabulous player. Tough matchup. Just to say, hey, we're a good team, or enough data to say that, or well, I, mean, I think no, we can no, play no, with anybody. Point, I, I think we're we can play with anybody, and um, uh, on any given week, we can, we'll, you know we have a great chance to win. But uh, the flip side of that is, you know, uh, I don't feel like you're so dominant that you know you don't have to show up. You still got to play the game, and uh, this is a humbling game, and uh, we've seen that week in and week out. Just used last weekend as an example with a five and five Arizona State team. Uh, Should have ran away with it, and uh, but Oregon's got enough playmakers to to make it interesting. And uh, but that's just one of many examples um, of uh, the game in which we we both play and coach. And uh, when you're dealing with young people, and uh, and again, there's good players everywhere. And people get hot, so uh, just got to have a lot of respect for the game. I think that uh, when you do that and, you know, you, you've got good leadership and um, guys really have, again, a sense of urgency about, you know, their performance week in and week out, regardless of who you're playing, then you can sustain success at a very, very high level. And then when you when you lose a little focus and you don't, uh, you slop around and, and expect to win, you're going to you're gonna make it real interesting real quick. So, um, I think we're a really good football team, you know, one of the better teams in college football. And uh, but you know, because you asked the question, I'm saying that. But uh, this is uh, this is a game that will humble you uh, real quick. So, um, uh, you know. You mentioned watching the Oregon game. Were you able to watch uh, any of the Ohio State Penn State game? Yeah. What do you think about that defense that Ohio State has? Yeah, I got a great, great defense. Uh, you know, got you enjoy coaching a player like Chase Young. Yeah, I mean he's a great player, you know. Uh, they're they're full of a bunch of great players, um, you know. So I thought they're, you know, they look good, you know. So. Anybody else? All right, thanks, coach. All right. Thanks.